Hello, friends. I'm John Norcross, Distinguished Professor and Chair of Clinical Psychology at the University of Scranton and author of multiple books on psychotherapy. With Mick Cooper, we've recently been writing and researching about assessing and accommodating patients' strong preferences in psychotherapy. Hi, I'm Mick Cooper. I'm a professor of counseling psychology at the University of Roehampton in London. Uh, I've written on person-centered existential relational approaches to therapy. And uh, most of my research recently has been around client preferences and understanding client preferences, and also uh, children, young people and their experiences in counseling. Accommodating and working with client preferences is absolutely not about being all things to everyone. Uh, and it's absolutely not about going beyond our proficiencies and our competencies. We all have trainings. We have trainings in particular approaches. And it's really important that we work within the boundaries of what we are trained in. Um, so it's not about, say, being a person-centered therapist and the client says that they want CBT and then we try out some CBT. Um, it's really about it's beginning a dialogue where we can explore what the client wants and what we're able and trained to provide uh, within that. Unless you carefully select your patients, we know you are demonstrably not doing as good as therapy uh, as you can be. It really is that simple. And I ask such people to immediately reread the ethics portion for their own profession. Um, I'm pretty sure, I, I, I don't know your qualifications and standards, Kelly, but I am about 99% certain it doesn't begin with do what you feel most comfortable with and impose those preferences onto every patient you encounter. Pretty sure that's not there. Instead, it begins with beneficence. We are here for our clients' welfare. 